Jinping May Original Version Chapter 59 Simon King is shocked by the moon and falls in love with the moon and Li Ping her cries when she sees something. By the way, Meng Yulu and Pan Jinlian sent the mirror grinding old man at the door. Suddenly I saw a man from the east wearing a big hat and gauze riding a mule. He walked very quickly and came down from the door. The two women were so panicked that they couldn't walk back. I opened my eyes late but it was the Korean guy who came home. Ping and hurriedly asked, Has the truck arrived? Han Daowo said, The truck has entered the city. Where can Dad unload it? Ping and said, Dad is not at home. He went to have a drink at Master Joe's house to teach him how to unload. It's upstairs opposite the door. You old man, please come inside. After a while, Chen Jingji came out and accompanied Han Daowo into the back to meet Yun Yang. He came out to the hall, brushed off the dust, put his luggage on a back and taught Wang Jing to take it home. Yun Yang sent out some rice and ate it with him. After a while, the truck arrived. Jingji took the key and opened the door upstairs. There were little feet who were unloading the trucks, and the boxes were piled upstairs. The ten loads of satin goods were unloaded until it was time to turn on the lamp. Chue Ben also came to help. After finishing, check and lock the door, put a seal on it, send the money, go out. Dan had already gone to the garrison mansion to report to Simon King. Simon King heard that goods were being unloaded at home, had a few glasses of wine, and arranged to light the lamp before coming home. Waiting to see Mr. Han, everyone sitting in the hall told the whole story. Simon King and asked, Daddy Kion's letter has been written, have you seen some points? Han Daguo said, it's all about this letter from Daddy Jin. Ten trucks of goods have saved a lot of tax money. The villain put the box in the box, two boxes combined into one. And after three stops, only two stops were reported. And they were all used as tea and horse tooth incense cabinets to pay taxes. There were ten loads of goods in total, and only thirty-five tails of silver were paid. Dad took the bill. He didn't even have to stop for inspection so he drove over to drink. Simon King was filled with joy when he heard this, because he said, tomorrow, I will buy a lot of gifts to thank him. So he ordered Chen Jingji to accompany Han. The waiter and brother Jue sat down, brought up the dishes in the back, stayed for a while to drink, and then went home. When Wang Liu heard that Han Daoguo was coming, he ordered his mates Cheng Xiang and Jinner to serve him tea and rice. During the night of waiting, Han Daoguo arrived home, paid homage to the family hall, took off his clothes, cleansed his face, and the couple each complained about their separation. Han Daoguo told his wife about the success of the business. She saw that there were many silver tails in the basket, so she asked him and brought another one or two hundred tails of wine and rice for herself, unloaded it in the shop outside the door, and slowly sold it. Money comes home. The wife was full of joy and said, I heard Wang Jing said that he has found another man named Gan as a salesman. Brother Jue, and I will share the profit with him. This is good again. The shop will be opened by the end of the month. Han Daoguo said, There are people working as sellers here. And there are still few people in the south who have set up shop to buy goods. Dad will definitely send me there, the wife said. You have to look at the goods to find out what you are looking for. Since ancient times, those who can do more work, if you don't know how to do business, then daddy will ask you to do it. As the saying goes, if you don't put effort into it, you won't be able to gain worldly wealth. You have been out there for three years. If you are too lazy to go, you can just sell goods at home after I tell my father that I will teach Gen and Bao Guaner how to fight outside. Han Daoguo said, It's okay if you get used to it outside. My wife said, but here we go again. Your husband is lost and has nothing to do at home. After that, the wine was put on the table. The couple drank a few glasses of wine before getting ready to go to bed. It was a night of fun and entertainment, so there is no need to elaborate. The next day was the first day of August. Han Daoguo arrived at the house early and met with Chue Ben and Gan looked at the decoration of the earth storehouse and said nothing. But Simon King saw that the goods were unloaded and there was nothing going on at home. Suddenly he thought of going to Jung Ayura's house. He secretly sent Diana three tails of silver and a set of wearing gauze clothes with him. 
When the madam of the Zheng family heard that Ziman's father came to invite his sister and son, she quickly accepted the gift as if it were falling from the sky and said to Dian without saying anything, if you go against dad more often, you can say that his sister and son are both everyone is waiting for dad at home and asks dad to come down early. Dian came to the study room at home and replied to Simon King. About noon, Simon King ordered Dian to pack up the sedan chair. Wearing a shawl on his head, straight body wearing Qingwelu dark patchwork, foundation and soap boots, first. He walked around the house and inspected the decoration of the earth storehouse. Then, he got up, got on the sedan chair, and lowered the bamboo curtain. Kin Tung and Dian followed, leaving Wang Jing at home, Zi asked Chun Hong to carry a straight back and walk straight to the courtyard. Zheng Ai Yu my son's family, it's exactly this, Chong Xian arranged the incense sticks on the machine, and started by dragging a nest of snow. Not only can I go to Taoyuan to cross the river, but I can also come to the moon cave to accompany Chang'e. But Zheng Yixianger, dressed in pink and oily hair, saw Zimon King arriving and greeted him halfway through the door with a smile. When I came to my guest seat in the Ming Dynasty, I said one blessing. When Zimon King sat down, he told the young boy Kin Tong, take the sedan home and pick him up on horseback at night. The Kin boy went with the sedan home, leaving Diane and Chun Hung to wait on him. After a while, the madam came out to pay her respects and said, Sister, I have been disturbing you a lot in the house. Dad came here just to take care of himself. How can I give you a gift? Thank you so much for the clothes. Simon King, he said. I called him that day. Why didn't he go? He only recognized Wang Wang's family, the madam said. I still blame Dong Jiar and Li Geyer. I don't know if it was my father's birthday call, but he always everyone has the etiquette, but we sisters don't. If I had known better, I would never have allowed Wang Wang's family to sing and went to my father's house first. After falling behind, my father sent someone again, and I was so panicked that I carried the the Wang family, quickly encouraged my sister and son to open the back door and get into the sedan. Simon King said, I made an appointment with him at the banquet at his father Shia's house the day before. If he doesn't go that day, I needless to say I will be upset. Why, why didn't he say anything that day and didn't do anything like that? The bustard said, since the little shopkeeper's house has been groomed, there are so many people going out to sing. Go to my father's house and see you. There are so many people, I don't know what kind of bluff he is. He has been mute since he was a child. And he has been spoiled. Look, he didn't get up until very late. I should have urged him several times, saying that daddy is coming today. So you should get up earlier and clean up. He didn't comply and stayed up until late at night. After a while, the maid brought tea, and Zheng Xianger handed it forward and ate it. The madam said, please, daddy, please come and sit in the back. Zheng Xianger asked Simon King to go into the open room outside Zheng Iyuras room and sit down. Simon King saw the three characters Iyushuan written in regular script on it. After sitting for half a day, I suddenly heard the sound of the curtain and Zheng Ayuer came out. She was not wearing a bun, but a nest of silk Hangzhou silk embroidery on her head. The comb was black ginseng and glossy dark clouds. The pile of crows is like light smoke and dense fog. Wearing a pair of white lotus root silk fairy clothes, a purple silk skirt with emerald patterns, and red mandarin duck and phoenix beak shoes at the feet, the exquisite jade is swaying in front of her and the hibiscus pink face is more and more visible. Exactly, if it weren't for Daozi Guanyin's painting, it would definitely be a painting of a beautiful woman that prolongs life. Ayur walked downstairs, looked at Wu Chuanbu and said hello to Simon King, then sat next to him with her pink face covered with a golden fan. Simon King's eyes stopped and became more regular than when they first met. Unconsciously, his eyes were wandering and he couldn't help it. After a while, the maid brought another dish of tea. This pink-haired woman gently shook her sleeves, slightly revealing her spring figure. She took a bell and handed it to Simon King with both hands. Then she and Dixiang each took a bell to accompany them. After eating, put away the cup and go away. Please sit in the undressed room. Simon King asked Diane to come up, widened the green gauze cover and placed it on the chair. Entering the Fenta room, you can see the Yao windows, 
embroidered curtains, brocade quilts, and the strange fragrance. It is extremely elegant. It is truly a so-called fairy cave that cannot be visited by humans. While they were chatting and joking with each other, the maid came in to set up the table and put many exquisite vegetables on it. Please eat the lotus cake first. Zheng Ayuer picked up the shredded meat with his own hands, rolled it up, placed it in a small gold plate, and handed it to Zyman King to eat. After a while, after eating the cake and putting away the fire, they spread out the red felt strips, took out 32 dental plaques, and wiped the plaques with Simon King. After wiping it on, he put it away and put the wine on the table. But I saw piles of strange fruits and wine with golden ripples, which was very neat. The two sisters handed over the wine and arranged the wild goose pillars on the side of the zither. The style was strung across the gauze, Ai Xiang Er played the zither, Ai Yur played the pipa, and sang a set of Du Shang Shen Lai. When Wayne's words come out of a good mouth, there is a sound of cracking rocks and ringing beams. After singing, he sat down at the banquet and took a dice basin to compete with Zyman King to guess the red coins. After drinking enough, Zhang Aixiang er changed her clothes and went out, leaving Ai Yuer alone to accompany Zyman King to drink. First, Zyman King took out a white silk sweat scarf from his sleeve, with a gold heart piercing box tied on it. Zheng Ayur just said it was fragrant tea and was about to open it. Simon King said, It's not fragrant tea, it's the tonic I take every day. My fragrant tea is not placed here, it is only wrapped in paper. Then he took out a cup from his sleeve. A package of fragrant tea and osmanthus cake was handed to him. Ayur didn't believe it, so she reached into his sleeve and took out a purple crepe sweat towel with a pair of gold pickers tied to it. She held it in her hand and looked at it. It was very cute. Said, I saw Sister Gui and Sister Wu Yin both holding sweat scarves like this. It turns out they belong to you and him. Simon King said, I brought it on the Yangzhou ship. If not me and him, who owns it? If you will give it to you, tomorrow, I'll give another pair to your sister. After saying that, Simon King drank Zhang early wine, took a dose of the medicine in the heart-piercing box, held Fen Tu in his arms, and the two drinking wine and smacking one's tongue, one by one, they're all there. Simon King stretched out his hand and touched his fragrant milk again. It was so tight that it felt as smooth as a round ball. Pulling up the cardigan and looking at it, the white fragrance is like jade. After pondering for a long time, lustful thoughts often rise, and the words suddenly come out of my waist. He unbuckled his trousers and held them in his slender hands, seeing how big it was, Fanta stuck out his tongue in fear. He put his arms round Simon King's neck and said, My dear, you are meeting me for the first time today. Just let me in half. If you put them all in, I will die. Yes. How dare you take medicine to grow so big? Otherwise, how could you be born? With such a strange and strange personality. Red, purple, and a good son of a human being, Simon King said with a smile, My son, you go down and taste it for me. Ayur said, Why are you panicking? The days ahead are as many as leaves. Today is our first meeting. We are not familiar with each other. Come back and wait for me to taste it for you. After that, Simon King wanted to have sex with him. But Ayur said, You don't want to drink anymore. Simon King said, I don't want to drink anymore. Let's go to bed. Ayur asked the maid to carry the wine table aside and took off her boots with Simon King. And he went to the back to change clothes and bathe. When Simon King took off his boots, he rewarded the girl with a piece of silver, sent her to bed first, burned incense, and placed it in the incense cage. After a long time, the woman came into the room and asked Simon King, Are you going to have tea? Go to bed. Two mandarin ducks were placed on their pillows, and they were hit by end. Simon Kingjian's pink skin is slender and hairless, just like a steamed white flower cake, soft and cute. He hugged his waist, but it was not enough. Sincerity is the warm fragrance of nephrite, which is hard to buy with a lot of money. So he sandwiched his to tender legs, which were as white as silver bars, between his waist and eyes. Then put a support on his head and pushed it into the heart of the flower. The glands is tall and big and it was wet for a long time before it lost its edge. Ayur whereupon her brows together, 
put her hands on the pillow, and couldn't bear it. With starry eyes dimmed, he whispered, Please spare Jung Yur today. After hearing this, Simon King became more and more ecstasy, pumping her wildly, and was extremely happy. Exactly, how much can you get? Peach blossoms bloom red in spring, and willows turn green in the wind. Simon King and Jung Yu Yur stayed together until midnight before returning home. The next day, Wu Yun Young sent him to the Yemen, where he sat in the upper room with Yu Lu, Jin Lian, and Li Jiar. I saw Dian go into the upper room to get the ruler box and go to Jia Tixing to give birthday. Gifts? Yun Young asked Dan, whose house did your father go to in a sedan chair yesterday to have a drink? We didn't go home until late after dinner. He must be in Hondao country again, looking for his wife to come. It turns out that thieves and prisoners have always been just hiding the truth from me. You did this for him behind his back. Dian said, no, when his man comes home, how can dad go there? Yun Young said, it's not where, but whose home is it? Then Dian said again, don't talk, just laugh. I took the box and went to give gifts. Pan Jinlian said, Sister, if you ask this thief about his roots, how can he tell the truth? I heard that young boy man also followed yesterday, so I just asked young boy man to come and ask. He called Chan Hong over in front of. Jin Lian asked, Yesterday you followed your father in his sedan chair, at whose house you came to have a drink. Just tell the truth, if you tell the truth, your aunt will beat you now. Then Chan Hong knelt down and said, Mother, Please stop beating the younger ones. Let's wait for the younger one to say it. The younger one, Diane and Kin Tong brother, and my father went in from a gate building, walked through a few streets and alleys, and arrived at a house. Only half of the door was inlaid with saw teeth. Yes. There is a queen standing in the door, dressed up in flowers, and flowers. Jin Lian laughed when she heard it, and said, Chi Gen Z, you don't recognize even half of the people in the courtyard. I rushed to call the queen up. He asked again. What does that lady look like? Do you recognize him or not? Chun Hong said. I don't recognize him. He looks like my mother wearing this fake shell on her head. After entering, a white-headed old woman came out and looked at me. Dad bowed to me. If you were behind, please go to the back. Another young lady came out. Without wearing a fake shell. With raw melon seed noodles and red lips. She was drinking with my dad. Jin Lian said, You guys, where are you all sitting down? Chun Hong said, Diane Ann, Kin Tong, and I are in my grandma's room, accompanying me to have wine and meat every time. Yun Young and Yu Lu laughed so hard. Yun asked, Do you recognize him or not? Chun Hong said, That one seems to be singing at our house. Yu Lu smiled and said, That sisterly Gui, Yun Young said. So I went to his house, come. Li Jiaoer said, I don't have half a family. Jin Lian said, I'm afraid your family has a new one. She asked again. When Simon King came home, he went to Jia Tixing's house to pay his birthday. But there is a white lion cat raised in Pan Jin Lian's room. It is pure white all over, with a black streak on its forehead. Its name is Zilla Songtan, also known as No Lion. He is also good at holding a sweat towel in his mouth and picking up a fan. Simon King was not in the room, and the woman often hugged him to sleep in bed at night, and he would not urinate or feces on his clothes. He would come and go as soon as he was called, and the woman would often call him a snow thief. He does not eat beef liver and dried fish every day, but only eats raw meat. He is so fat that he can hide an egg in his hair. She cherished him so much that she would wrap his meat in red silk all day long and make the cats pounce on him to eat it. There was something going on that day. And Brother Guan felt uncomfortable. He took Mrs. Liu's medicine for several days and felt a little better. Leaping her and him put on red satin shirts and settled down outside to play on the Kang, guarding the spring. While Nai Nai ate nearby. Unexpectedly, the snow lion was squatting on the Kang when he saw Brother Guan on the Kang wearing a red shirt and playing round. He just pretended to be coaxing and feeding him meat. He suddenly looked at him and saw that brother general was covered with blood, scratched. Hearing the croak from the official brother, he took a deep breath, became speechless, and his hands and feet began to twitch. The panicked breasts dropped their jobs and hugged him. 
just spitting to stop his surprise. The cat came to chase him for food, but Yingshan kicked him out. Ryer sincerely hopes that the child will recover after a while of convulsions. Who wants to just focus on Chang Lian and keep having convulsions? He hurriedly sent Yingshan to invite Li Pinger to go behind him and said, My brother is not good. The wind is trembling. Mother, go quickly. Then Li Pinger refused to listen. When he heard, it was exactly six leaves, liver and lungs were damaged. Frightened Sam Aoki Kong's heart, Lian Yunyang hurriedly took two steps and rushed into the room. I saw that the child's twitching eyes were hanging straight up. No black eyes could be seen. White foam was flowing out of the mouth. His babble was like a chicken's crow. And his limbs were moving. When he saw it, his heart was like a knife cutting into each other. He hugged him quickly, pressed his face when replaced with his mouth, and cried loudly, My brother, I went out to do well, why did I start twitching? Yingshen and Nezi talked about being frightened by the cat in Wu Nyang's room. Li Pinger began to cry more and more and said, My brother, you are so important to your parents-in-law. Today, you just pretend that you have to fight this way. After hearing this, Yun Yang was speechless and called Jin Lian come and ask him, Did the cat in your house scare the child? Jin Lian asked, Who said that? Yun Yang pointed, It was Nizi and Ying Chun who said it. Jin Lian said, Look at this old woman, why don't you open your mouth? My cat is sleeping well in the house. You always frightened the child and left him alone. His claws only picked the soft spots and pinched them. I am so easy to pester in this house, Yun Yang asked. How did his cat come to this house? Ying Chun said, Every time he comes to this house to play, Jin Lian took it and said, Earlier, you said, Why did you not care about him every time? K got up today. You girl also followed him and stared, talking nonsense. Just make do. How can you draw the boat a full? K I always bring it when I am exhausted. Then Xingzi withdrew and went to the room. The judge heard, Pan Jin Lian saw that Li Pinger had a son and Simon King followed by Bai, and wanted to give him 10 for 1. So she did this conspiracy and tamed the cat in order to frighten her son to death, and make leaping his son's favor declined, so he taught Simon King to marry him again. Just like how Tuanji a Yangshan mastiff harmed Prime Minister Zhao Dun in the past. Exactly, there are still thorns hidden at the bottom of flowers, branches and leaves, so how can people's hearts not be poisonous? Yun Yang and others saw that the child was just convulsing. While they boiled ginger soup and poured it on him, they told Li Anner to call Po Liu quickly. After a while, Mrs. Liu came, checked her pulse, just stumbled, and said, This is a serious fright. It is difficult to get over it. Make a rush of mint, gold and silver soup. He took out a gold foil pill and grinded it into Zhang Er's body, with her teeth clenched. Yun Yang quickly pulled out the golden hairpin, pried it open, and drank it. Liu Po said, It's okay if you can make it. If you can't make it, tell the host's grandma and you have to do a few mock combustion sessions. Yu Nying said, Who dares to delay? He has to wait until his father comes to ask. Mock combustion is not enough, causing him to come home and yell at me. Li Pinger said, Auntie, please save his life if he waits to come home. It will be too late. If his father scolds him, just wait until I take responsibility. Yun Yang said, My child is yours. My child, please mock Sebastian as you please. I dare not make any claims. At that moment, Mrs. Liu mock Sebastian Quan Ji's son for five times on his eyebrows, at the base of his neck, on his hands and on his heart, and put him to sleep. The child was so drowsy that he didn't wake up until Simon King came home at dusk. When Mrs. Liu saw Simon King coming home, Yun Yang gave him five pieces of silver and slipped out of the corridor. When Simon King returned to the upper room, Yun Yang told Simon King that the child had convulsions. Simon King hurriedly came forward to take a look, seeing Li Ping are crying with red eyes. She asked, Why does the child have convulsions? Li Ping her eyes were filled with tears, but she didn't speak. When I asked the girl and her breasts, I didn't dare to say anything. Simon King saw that the skin on Brother Guan's hand was gone again, and his whole body was covered with moxa moxa. He felt anxious and anxious, so he walked back and asked Yun Yang. Yun Yang couldn't hide it, 
so she had to tell her about the frightened cat in Jin Lian's room. Mrs. Liu just saw it and said it was a convulsion. Without acupuncture, she would be very sad if I wait for you to come. I'm afraid it will be too late. His mother, the mother and son took it upon themselves to ask him to mock Sebastian the child for five times before putting him down to sleep. He has not woken up for half a day. Simon King refused to listen. After hearing this, the three corpses jumped violently. The five internal organs were angry. The anger came from the heart. The evil was born in the courage and walked straight to Pan Jin Lian's room. He couldn't help but look for the snow lion, holding up his feet. Walking towards the corridor, I looked at the base of the stone platform and fell down. I heard a loud sound. My brain was filled with thousands of peach blossoms and my mouth was full of broken jade. It's exactly this. He doesn't catch rats in the human world, but he returns to the underworld to become a raccoon fairy. Pan Jin Lian saw him take out the cat and throw it to death. She sat on the king and Feng Wen didn't move. When Simon King walked out of the door, he murmured and cursed. A robber who seeks death is a true man only if he goes out and kills people. Is a cat bothering you? The god of death seems to be gone. He fell to death. He went to the underworld and will ask you for your life tomorrow. Why are you panic? A thief never changes his mind when he is ready to die. Simon King walked to Li Pingara's room because he talked about breasts and Yingshun. I teach you to look after the child well. How come the cat left him and took his hand off? And I believe that old whore Liu. She mocks a bust in the child for nothing. If it is good, then so be it. If not, let this old whore the woman took her to the Yemen and had sex with him, Li Pingara said. You see, the child is worried about his own life. And you are so kind. Filial piety is a doctor. And he is eager to be well. Li Pinger only hoped that the child would be well. But unexpectedly, the mocks of fire turned the ethos inside. It turned into a slow wind. And the convulsing intestines and stomach moved. Urine and feces came out. The stoles were colorful. The eyes opened and closed suddenly. And eventually I just fell into a coma and stopped eating milk. Leaping or panicked and prayed to gods and divination everywhere, but nothing happened. Without telling Simon King, Yun Young invited Mrs. Liu to come to her home for a dance. And she also invited the pediatrician to come and see her. They all used GB powder to test it. If it blows into the nostrils and causes mucus, you can still see it. If there is no mucus coming out, just look at the Yinzi and keep it. So I blew it down, and I was at a loss. No one burst out with tears. I kept crying more and more day and night, and even cut down on my diet. Seeing that August 15th was approaching, Yun Yang didn't even attend her own birthday because of his bad behavior. She even sent gifts to relatives and didn't invite them. At home, Wu Daguzi, Miss Young, and the great master came to accompany them. And Su and Aunt Wang were quarreling over the money at the printing office, and they got into trouble with each other. On the 14th, Ben Si and Ansu urged them to collect the scriptures and picked up rice. 1,500 scrolls were all finished. Li Pinger gave another pennies of money to buy paper horse and incense candles. On the 15th, Chen Jingji and I went to the Yu Temple early to buy incense paper, disperse all the sutras, and then walked back and forth to talk to Li Pinger. Mr. Kiao's family sent Mrs. Khan to visit him again and again every day. He also recommended Dr. Bao, who was looking after children, to come and see him, he said. This one has become a dissatisfied guest in the sky and cannot be cured. He gave him five coins in vain, sent away, even after I drank the medicine. I didn't take it and even vomited it out. He just closed his eyes and gritted his teeth. Leaping her was fully clothed and held in her arms day and night. She just cried, Simon King didn't go there either. He came home from the Yemen every day and came in to look after the children. It was late August, and Li Pinger watched Brother Guan sleep on the bed. Silver lamps were lit on the table, and the maid and adoptive mother were fast asleep, gazing at the full moonlight through the window. It became even more dark. As expected, I was filled with sorrow and thoughts. It's exactly this. People feel refreshed when happy events happen, but feel sleepy when bored. But see, the Milky Way is far away, and the jade leakage is far away. The bright moon shines coldly through the window, 
and the cool night breeze blows through the door. The drums are forbidden in the woodcutter building, and the drums are beaten before the first watch is finished. The anvils and other courtyards are cold, and thousands of poundings will bring up the remaining ones. The jingling iron horse in front of the painted eve shatters the feelings of missing a wife. The flashing lights on the silver platform illuminate the beauty's sigh, I only want to have a good child, but I don't expect to be worried and sleep a lot. At that moment, Leapinger was lying on the bed, seemingly asleep, dreaming that Hua Zixu came from the front door, wearing white clothes, as if he was alive. When he saw Leapinger, he scolded him sternly, You thief and whore, how can you deprive me of my property and Simon King? Now I'm going to sue you. Li Pinger grabbed his sleeve with one hand and said, Good brother, please forgive me. Quasi paused for a moment, then let go and was surprised, but it was Nan Kiamang. When he woke up, he was holding Guan Gear's shirt sleeves in his hands. He muttered a few times, That's weird. That's weird, hearing the drum beat. It was three o'clock in the morning. Li Pinger was so frightened that she was covered in cold sweat and her hair stood on end. The next day, Simon King came into the room and told him what happened in his dream. Simon King said, I know where he died. This is the old state of your dreams. Just keep your mind at ease and don't pay attention to him. Now I asked the servant to pick up Wu Yinner in a sedan to be your companion. Son, call Lao Feng to wait on you for two more days. Diane picked up Wu Yinner from the courtyard when the weather subsided to the west, the official brother was convulsing in the breast's arms. The panicked mother-in-law called Li Pinger, Mom, come and see my brother. The black eyes are only turned up, and the breath is only coming out, not going in. Li Pinger came over and held her in her arms. As he started crying, he called the girl, please invite your father. You said the child is about to die. Keki Chang Gigi came up to talk again and told her that the house had been found. It had two rooms on the front, two floors, and four rooms. 35 tales of silver. When Simon King heard that the official brother behind him was getting serious, he sent Chang Gigi to get up and said, I won't send you off. I'll send someone to show you some money someday. He hurriedly walked to Lee Pingara's room. Yun Yang and everyone were watching in the room, and the child was convulsing in his mother's arms. Simon King couldn't bear to look at him, so he walked to the bright room and sat on a chair, sighing. When half the cup of tea was gone, Brother Guang cried out in sorrow and died. Shen Shai died on August 23rd and lived only one year and two months. The whole family burst into tears. Li Pinger scratched her head, hid her head on the ground, and fainted from crying. Su Sheng, who had just arrived half a day ago, hugged him and cried loudly, I have no savior. My heart hurts me to death. I would rather die in the same breath with you, than I will live in the world soon. My savior it's so painful for me to leave behind such a murderous heart. Ryer and Yingchen were beside her, crying so hard that they couldn't speak or move. Simon King immediately ordered the boy to clean up the west wing of the front hall, put down to wide stools, and carry the child out there with pillow, mat and bedding. If Li Pinger were on the child, hugging him with both hands, he would be willing to let go. He kept shouting, Enemy without a savior, my delicate son. You have exposed my heart and soul. I have spent all my hard work in vain and have to suffer for my life. I will never see you again, my heart and soul. On the one hand, Dian was sent to Dakiao's house to tell the story. And on the other hand, Zhu Yin Yang was invited to approve the book. He also took out 10 tails of silver and gave him instructions to quickly carry a pair of flat-headed cedar boards. He then ordered the craftsmen to build a small coffin for burial. As soon as Kiao Zai heard the report, the wife of Kiao's wealthy family came in a sedan chair and cried when she entered the door. Yun Yang and the others cried loudly together and told her the past. After a while, Mr. Zhu of Yin and Ong came, looked at it, and said, Brother, it is still time to pass away forever. Yun Yang ordered him to come out and teach him to read the black book. Mr. Zhu looked at Secretary Yin and Yang and said, My brother was born on the 23rd day of the 6th month in Zhang, Bingshan, and died on the 23rd day of the 8th month in Zhang, Dingyu. The month is Dingyu, the day is Renzi, and the world is heavy. During the funeral, the family should avoid the following. Avoid crying. Do not avoid relatives. 
At the time of burial, snakes, dragons, rats, and rabbits are born, so it is good to avoid them. There is also a black book that says, the deceased on the day of Renzi should go to the Aquarius Palace, coming down to the ground. In his previous life, he was a man in the Kai family of Yanjo. He used his strength to steal people's property, drank wine and was in a state of poverty, disrespected all relatives in heaven and earth, got involved in mischief, suffered from cold diseases, stayed on the bed for a long time, and died of filth. In this life as a child, he also suffered from epilepsy. Ten days ago, he was frightened out of his soul by six animals, and he offended the chieftain Taisui. He died first and took away his soul. He was reborn as a man in the Wang family in Jiangshu, and later became a member of a thousand households. He died at the age of 68. After a while, Mr. Zhu read the black book and asked his father whether he would be buried or buried tomorrow. Simon King said, How can I get out tomorrow? I'll wait for three days and recite sutras. I'll go out on the fifth day and bury it on the grave. Mr. Zhu said, On Bingchen on the 27th day, the whole family will not violate their destiny. It is better to cover the earth at noon. After approving the book, he packed it up and buried it. It was already the third watch. Li Pinger cried and went to the room, found some of his Taoist clothes, Taoist buns, shoes and socks, etc., placed them in the coffin for him, and hammered in the nail of eternity. The whole family cried again and sent away Yin and Yang. The next day, Simon King was in confusion and did not go to the Yemen. Jia Tixing inquired and learned that when the Yemen dismissed in the morning, he came to ask questions. He also sent someone to inform Wu Daoguan Temple that on the third day, eight monks from Baoan Temple would be invited to chant sutras at home. In the Wu Daoguan Temple, all the big families prepared three sacrifices to hold sacrifices. Uncle Wu, Uncle Shen, Uncle Han outside the door, and Uncle Hua all offered sacrifices to Juo to burn paper. Count Ying, Zi Zida, Wen Xu Kai, Chang Jiji, Han Daoguo, Gan Shenzheng, Chuan, Lizi and Huang all fought for their share of capital and came to stay with Simon King in the evening. He sent the monks and called for the couple bearers to perform sacrifices in front of his brother's soul first. Then, Simon King placed a table and mat in the hall to entertain everyone. That day, the three families in the courtyard, Sister Li Gui, Wu Yinner and Zheng Yuer, all came to write papers. Li Pingres' ideological officer brother, Huang Yanyan, was so lazy every day that he didn't even bother to eat and drink. He just cried when he mentioned it, and his voice was hoarse from crying. Simon King was afraid that he would miss his child and be foolish. So he ordered his nurse, maid and Wu Yinner to stay with him during the day. In the evening, Simon King rested in his room for three nights in a row, trying to persuade him in every possible way on his pillow. At night, and Zhu recited the Sarangama Sutra and the mantra for the solution of injustice for him, and advised him, stop crying. He is not your son or daughter. They are all enemies and creditors in previous lives. The Dora Sutra does not say this. Once upon a time, there was a woman who gave birth to children three times, but all of them died at the age of two. The woman cried endlessly. She hugged her children by the river and couldn't bear to abandon them. Feeling that Guanxi and Bodhisattva transformed into a monk, he said to the woman, There is no need to cry. This is not your son. He is your enemy in life. I have asked you to be reborn three times. All of them want to kill you. If you don't believe it, I will show it to you. Pointing his hand, the son transformed into the shape of a yaksha, stood up towards the water, and reported, You have come to kill me, and I have come here to avenge your grievances. Now because you always uphold the Buddha's Heart Dharma Sutra and the good gods, support you day and night, I have gained it by killing you. I have been accepted by Guanxi and Bodhisattva, and I will be saved from now on forever. I don't want to be a grudge against you. After finishing his speech, he sank into the water and disappeared. I shouldn't have said to the poor monk, this son of yours must be an enemy from the past life. He has been entrusted to your shadow to turn his eyes, and wealth into trouble to harm your body. For you I have given up this 1500 volumes of the Buddha's Heart and Heart Sutra. With this meritorious deed, 
He will not be able to harm you, so I leave this body. When I am reborn tomorrow, I will be your son or daughter. After hearing this, Leapinger was filled with love, endless fate. But when I mention it, I often shed tears. Five days later, on the morning of the 27th, eight boys in green clothes and white hats were hired. Surrounded by a gold coffin with red pins, banners, snow canopies, jade plum blossoms, and snow willows. In front of it was a big red inscription inscribed Zyman Tomb, the hub of men. In Wu Daoguan's temple, another twelve small Taoist boys in green clothes were sent to go round the coffin and chant the jade seal of life and spirits to accompany the funeral with music. All relatives and friends accompanied Zyman King in plain clothes and walked to the east entrance of the street. They were about to reach the door before going up to the entrance. Simon King was afraid that Li Pinger would mourn at the grave, so he didn't ask him to go. Only Wu Yunyang, Li Jiar, Meng Yulu, Pan Jinlian, and the eldest sister, with five sedans in the family, accompanied Kiao's mother-in-law, eldest sister, Li Geyer, Zheng Yuer, and Wu Shenchen's daughter-in-law Zheng Sanji to go to the grave. Sun Zue, Wu Yinner, and his sister's-in-law were left at home with them. Li Pinger is my companion. Leapinger refused to let him go. When he saw the coffin, he got up and walked it to the front of the gate. He shouted loudly at the coffin and shouted one after another, Don't come here, my ungrateful son Kula. He screamed until he was out of breath. Unexpectedly, he bumped his head under the door, bruised his forehead, and the gold hairpin fell to the ground. Wu Yinner and Sun Zue panicked and helped him up and persuaded him to go back. When he got to the room, he saw that the king was empty except for the longevity drum he played hanging on the bedside. He wanted to get up and slapped the table, but couldn't cry anymore. Wu Yinner was by the side, holding his hand and persuading him, Mother, you are crying. My brother has already abandoned you. There is no need to cry again. You must relieve yourself. Don't just worry about it, Sue said. You are young and young, so what if you worry that you won't be able to raise your children tomorrow? There are cracks in the walls here. And there are eyes in the walls. I can't tell you. He worked hard, but it only hurt him. He harmed your child, now teach him to retaliate and ask for his life. I don't know how many times you and I have been buried alive by him. As long as the man always guards him, it will be fine. If he goes to sleep in a room for a night, he will be angry to death. It was the former, you know every time, a man can't wait to get behind me. But as soon as he gets there, you see, he starts chirping behind his back, telling his sister that I'm good and I'm bad. I don't say anything, every time Reshire looked at him. This whore will die tomorrow, Leapinger said. Well, I'm also sick here. I don't know if I'll die today or tomorrow, I can't argue with him. Just let him go. Just as he was saying this, Ryer knelt forward and cried, My little daughter-in-law has something to say. But I don't dare to tell my mother. Today my brother died. It was my little daughter-in-law's fault. I'm afraid that my stepfather and aunt will send my daughter-in-law out and her manhood will be gone. Where can I go? When Li Pinger saw what he said, she felt hurt again. And said, It's my wife's fault. The child is gone. And I'm not dead yet. Anyway, I will die tomorrow, and if you suffer at my hands, I won't I won't teach you to go out. When your aunt gives birth to your brother and your sister, she will give you the breast and it will be normal. Why are you so panicked? Ryer just stopped talking. Leapinger started to cry sadly again for a long time. Sui and Wu Yinner tried to persuade her. What did you eat in your stomach? Just go and cry. They asked Xu Chun to bring some rice and put it on the table to accompany them. He eats, how could Li Pinger swallow it alive? I only ate half of the cup and then left it alone. Simon King asked Mr. Zhu to draw a hole on the grave and buried the official brother in the arms of Mrs. Chen, who was the leader, and buried her grandson in his arms. On that day, all the relatives of Kiao Da Huijing were offering sacrifices, so they spent the day drinking in the newly built rolling shed. When they came home, Li Pinger, Yun Yang, Kiao Da Hu's wife, and Da Jin Zi Kotodan cried again. He said to Mrs. Kiao Da Hu, My dear, you are like a slave child who is short-lived and short-lived. Now that you are dead, 
Your sister has become a housekeeper and has worked in vain. My family will not laugh at her, the wife said. Why do the in-laws talk like this? Children have different lifespans. Who can guarantee what will happen later? As the saying goes, get married first and then don't change. The in-laws are not always old. Will they worry about having no children in the future? You need to take your time. The in-laws also don't worry anymore. After saying that, he left and went home. Simon King taught Mr. Zhu how to sweep in the front hall, and every door had Pai Fei Huang talisman posted on it. The deceased was three feet high and headed to the northeast. When encountering the wandering god, he could not come back. If he beheaded, it would be auspicious and his relatives would not be afraid. Simon King took out a big piece of cloth and two tails of silver and thanked Mr. Zhu before leaving. Late at night, he went into Li Pingara's room to sleep with him. All kinds of words are gentle at night. Seeing that Brother Guan's playthings are still in front of him, I'm afraid that this face will make Ying Chen take it to the back when he sees his thoughts and worries. Exactly, the delicate child of thought cries day and night, and the heart is like a life-threatening thread. There are all kinds of sorrows and sufferings in the world except death and separation. Alright, this part of the story ends here. Want to know what happened next? Let's listen to the breakdown next time.